channel. Today we are gonna do another little like mini trip, you could call it. We've been to Ghent before, but we haven't recorded it. We've always said like how much we really enjoyed Ghent, but fingers crossed because every time we've been, we've had like horrible rain. Or... Yeah, last time we were there, it was like pretty drizzling rain the entire time. Yeah. So like, it made like walking around the, like when you're indoors at the castle, it was, it was cool. Yeah. But, like, Anytime you're outside, it was just like you're constantly wet. So. so we're hoping for no rain today. But Ghent is like mid, you would say it's medieval, right? Uh, it's like Iron Age. So like there's castles there from like, and the houses and castles there from like the 1200s and mm -hmm. stuff. The castle's older than the 1200s, but there's definitely houses there from the 1200s, yeah. which is pretty crazy. Like being an American, like you yeah. think of like something old is like, oh, 100 years old. Now these places are like going yeah. on a thousand years old. Yeah, I have like no perception of that. I'm like, oh, it's old. But then he's like, no, no, no. Like this is how old this it is. This is so like. It's pretty cool. So we'll take you guys there. Um, hopefully we can do, like they have these canal tours. We're hoping to be able to get on one of those. And then. Um, cool dinner. We are. We are going to rank the best frites. Oh, we are. Yeah. I of Belgium. So we're up to our top two. We have the Frit Atelier, which we've showed you guys in past mm -hmm. videos. And then Mitch's mom and her friend Michelle, which if you watched our last two videos, they were in those. They said they loved these fries from Ghent um, that had like this sauce on them. So we're going to officially try those today and give our official rating of what fries are Twist. the best. We've tried so many fries living here in Belgium. So this will be like the official, official, official ranking. Twist my arm. I have to eat more French fries. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's head there. For sure a hole in the wall, but we found it. People are leaving with their little fries. So here we go. <laughs> okay, the meat sauce, not gluten-free. So we got it on the side. We got the meat sauce, the fry, and then my ketchup. So give it a taste for us. Pretty good. I wouldn't say it's better than the uh, atelier, but it's pretty good. Right, literally within shot. Our favorite free atelier right over there. So update. We're not a fan. Not the best. We're just gonna go to the free atelier. That's where you never fail. The best. Never fail. Throws away the fries at the free atelier. <laughs> We're happy now. Very. Got my good son. <laughs> the good. What year was this built in? Do you remember? 680? 680? 80. Oh, <laughs> AD. Back when it was built to like defend against the Vikings, which is wild.
all the soap that they have is like influenced after like famous like perfumes and colognes and stuff. So like, what's that? What did it say? I can't even say it, but they're like all natural like and if you know me I have like the most sensitive skin and so like it's nice to find like a soap that's like Fruity smelling and stuff that doesn't break my skin out. So I'm definitely gonna be getting some liquid soap The official soap smeller. These are my two favorites Chloe and then the Donna Suits man Donna <laughs> Decided to go with the is it Cleo? Yes. Cleo and then just their regular shower cream with a uh, dead sea salts and oil. It's so tiny. You ready? <laughs> First off, you gotta appreciate the glass. <laughs> 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 What's the question we gotta ask every time? How big do your sizes go? <laughs> Show us what you got. Slides. Yeah. Slides. I forgot. Ooh. Behind the scenes, these are the Ooh. slides. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He's Easy so slides. excited. You see that? Hold on. Look at this. I got my high heels on. They're like two inches. Yeah. His see nice, them. Oh, nice them. fashionable oh. shoes with the hands. Zagambas. So excited. We're back, baby. We are back. That it, was unreal. That was probably like some of the best food we've had here. And like the crazy mind blowing, mind boggling yeah. thing is that we could actually like share plates. Which so is crazy. we first of all, great day in Ghent. Oh, yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing that great we day. didn't get to do was the gondola ride. Yeah. But it's because it was on and off raining and we just knew like our luck. Our luck with rain is that it's yeah. gonna happen regardless of when yeah. we go, so, so might as well just get used to we it. We just looked at the we looked at the river and everything like that. We'll we'll hit it in the in the summer, but yeah. um, really fun. We got some soaps from my favorite soap shop, and um, what else did we do? We got beers. Oh yeah, really we went cool. to a bar that one of um, my best friends. Uh, sister-in-law had recommended um, and it was it was a cute little bar like how old do you think that bar was it had I mean hundreds at least like it, yeah. was, it was really cool I mean yeah the building at least hundreds I don't know how old the bar was inside of it yeah. but like the building just, was really it's old. crazy the architecture but um and to correct ourselves on the castle the it was year, 1280 I think 1280 was when it was built but yeah. it, it's it so was, not 600 it was built to like uh fight against the Vikings which is just mind-blowing to me um, and then we had dinner at this place called Epiphanies, which I've been trying to get in for reservations for a while now. So I was so excited to go. The whole restaurant is gluten-free. 
and plant-based, but you can add on like cheese and meat if you would like. Um, so when we got there, of course, like Mitch is like hesitant or whatever, but they have amazing reviews. So I was super excited. We both got, I got pasta with like um, artichoke, zucchini, and like this wine, white wine sauce. And then it had the gambas on it and tell Shrimp. them what you got. I got, oh, what was the name of it? And, and something, uh, I, I don't know. But it was but just like, it was like a... It was like a triple sec like uh, sauce. It was sauce, like a sweet creamy, sauce on it, yeah. sweet cream sauce on it, and mushroom, uh, and mushroom, and then shrimp on it. So like it was, it was, yeah. un, it was like probably one of the better pastas I've had. But it was just so cool that like she could like reach over and like try some. Yeah, mine. so this is crazy. crazy. Like, and I know you guys might not think this is crazy, but for anyone who like has an allergy in the family or anything like that, like we have, I've never in my life been able to reach across like to his plate and use my fork on his plate unless and, we've like cooked at home obviously yeah but. and like grabs like some food and tasted it and same for him like using his fork on my plate because like if he ever wanted to try something on my plate like i would get like a new fork whatever just because like cross contamination of yeah. gluten and so that was like so wild that we were able to just like share because i know that's like a normal couple thing that people can do but like not not us so that was 10 out of 10 and the food was so good it's yeah. i do it like I really love, like, Basil's has been amazing if you've watched our past videos and I got the gnocchi, but they sell, like, gluten products or serve gluten products, so it's for hard. the safety and everything, like, I would say Epiphany's is my favorite so far, like, restaurant ever in Europe, so that's really exciting to find our favorite restaurant. It's high praise coming from you, high praise. It is, and Mitch, like, the whole time was like, I cannot believe this is, like, gluten and dairy free, he, like, was obsessed, so. It was really good. I would make the drive, it's an hour drive, would you drive again to go to that place? For sure. So if you go to Ghent, don't bother with those french fries that we showed you the first ones, I think I'm gonna get. Go to the Atelier yeah, and gonna, then go to Epiphany's. <laughs> I'm gonna give Michelle and Rana the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they were super hungry when they tried these fries, but at best, these fries were like the ones that you get like. I don't know. I, I I compared them to like when you go to Costco and you get the fries out of the freezer that you can like yeah. reheat in your oven. Like that's what it tasted like. With it, like some stew on the side. Cat food on the side. <laughs> yeah. Don't get those. Throw those away. Go to the Frida Atelier, whether you're in Brussels or in Ghent. Or and Antwerp. Then, or Antwerp. And then Actually, go wherever to, you are in Belgium, just go to the free atelier. Yeah, and then go to um, Epiphanies. And you'll have a good day. And you will. But we are about to make our oh, our yeah. drive home. And then tomorrow starts up with practices again. And then we'll be back at recording another week for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that if you go to Ghent, you take our recommendations because these places are really good. And we will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment. All we'll the see things. You. Do it all. <laughs>